I'm up, getting ready to go milk. Dragy boy. Hi, baby. Come on. So I've got my one million milk pails with me. So the water didn't freeze, which is nice. Just that much warmer. It's got a heater in it, but it was still freezing. You can see all the ice. But I barely had to smash it out this morning. Like I just did the edges. <laughs> Lauco stall. It's disgusting. This is poop. And that's a poopy udder. Glad I brought extra eggs today. So I I cleaned it up ish for now, but I have to get bedding and deal with it. So I'm getting her all clean. She's really dirty. Minus nine, I think, right now, or minus ten. Oh she whaps me when glasses get dirty. Good girl. But you gotta just keep cleaning. Oh Regs are clean. Seems like, oh, here's what I'm thinking for goals with the cow. One is to make all of our dairy products. I ordered cultures to make uh, kefir and and all these Scandinavian types of yogurt. I want to make sour cream, um, cream cheese, cheese. So it's a lot. That'll be my full-time job. <laughs> Just kidding. So there's that. Make all of our own dairy products. And I want to top up the chicken feed Gotta get in a better position. Top up the chicken feet. Hi, girl. Good morning, everybody. Okay, Optimus. Who laid an egg on the ground? Good morning, Karen. Girl, hi. I gotta get in here and see what eggs there are. Everybody wants to lay there, and it looks like the ducks have been making more of a nest. Oh, only two. Two nice duck eggs. Hi, Optimus. What are you doing? You're so curious. He's got like the thickest fur, which makes me feel better from it being so cold. It's amazing that they're born with this fur. Hi, baby. We got Optimus. Raj, probably eating Optimus poop. Hi, honey. Hi. Hi, babe. Okay, so just poured some, that's two day old milk. It's not old, that's when I milked into here and I'm gonna make like a little kind of warm milk latte-ish drink. So I've got a little chaga simmering, or about to simmer in water. And then I've got milk with honey just warming up and then mix the two and we call it chug a milk <laughs> so first i put in the chaga stopped because Cam saw a big chaga. Oh, and now, but yeah, I'll see if I can see it. So it's on that tree in the middle there, but I think Cam got sidetracked. Maybe he found another chunk. We have a lot of chaga around here. Alby, you don't drink chaga. You're just a baby. Another one. That tree is dead. So. Let's see. So Wolf thinks we should add it to the hot water to make chaga chocolate milk. 
This is a chaga we picked before and it's grown back. It's pretty big. Do you want to leave? If you leave a bit, then it regrows. Yeah. Oh, sweet. Hey, Jess. Yeah, grab that. Whoa. Grab it, bud. I feel like that'd be good for a fire starter. Yeah. We used it, right, Dad? You gonna get some? Smart. It's pretty good. Okay, so usually you let the chaga dry and cure, but for fun, we're gonna add a tiny piece of this to our hot water before we make chocolate milk. Okay, you're gonna cut that for me? I added a small piece already and I'll just add that. And we'll seal it up and let it steep. Getting a bit of firewood while we're out. So I just wanted to show you my seedlings. Right, so these are tomatoes and peppers in here. And they're coming in good, good germination. Um, I did have some that I lost, mostly looking really good. And these are the leeks and onions. And they're doing all right. So I had them on heat mats. And then um, I have lights. I have new lights, but I'm just using Coming along. So exactly. What's up, girl? So that's it for the day. It was a fun thing to do and uh, nice to get out with the family. So anyway, thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye.